Good morning. Welcome to Canix TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to Canix TV. A German Wings Airbus A320 passenger plane carrying about 150 people crashed this morning in the foothills of the Alps in southeastern France. The 24-year-old uh, Airbus was on its way from Barcelona to Dusseldorf when it crashed about 60 miles north of Nice. The plane had sent out a distress signal uh, 29 minutes after takeoff from Barcelona. Uh, it was at an altitude at that time of 6,800 feet. It then went down and uh, there are no survivors. Records has been cited. German Wings is a wholly owned subsidiary of the German carrier Lufthansa. A couple of interesting things at play here. 29 minutes after takeoff, the plane should have been at cruising altitude, well above 30,000 feet. Um, the plane uh, was at 6,800 feet when it sent the distress signal. One does not fly at 6,800 6, feet over the French Alps. Mont Blanc, for example, is in that region, which has a height of 15,000 feet. For some reason, the plane was at a very low altitude when it made the distress call. It's interesting as well to note that uh, many of the strike actions that have been carried on by the Lufthansa Pilot Union are in direct result to uh, uh, differential pay conditions that exist for the German Wings pilots, which is the discount carrier owned by Lufthansa. Uh, there's more to come on this. Uh, uh, the uh, helicopters are beginning to bring in the wreckage and the bodies into a temporary morgue that have been set up. Uh, both German Chancellor Angela Merkel and the French President Francois Hollande have made statements indicating their deepest sympathies. Allianz is supposedly the lead insurer for the Lufthansa insurance program that's going to be hit by the uh, German Wings crash. Uh, Willis and JLT co-brokered the all-risk policy that's going to bear the risk of the loss. Global Aerospace led the placement in London. AIG is supposedly also on the risk as well. Um, liability losses depend upon the nationality and the earning potential and family status of the victims. Uh, these were mainly all European passengers, so the rule of thumb that the industry uses is that the payout is going to be about a million dollars U.S. for EU nationals. Lufthansa is Germany's largest airline and pays a lead premium of about $90 million. Um, despite running a loss ratio of more than 100% last year, it actually managed to secure a rate reduction when it renewed its program last December. Tropical cyclone Nathan indeed has made its third landfall in Australia. It crossed the Northern Territory coast as a Category 1 storm, uh, hit the coast about 180 miles east of Darwin at about 6.30 a.m. this morning, Australian time. Um, still no loss of life, although uh, a number of people had to be evacuated. Um, the Meteorological Service does not quite know where the storm is going next, although its winds have uh, greatly diminished. Uh, it has uh, uh, gusts of only about 60 miles per hour and the uh, main winds are about 45 miles per hour so it finally does seem to be dissipating although it is dropping very heavy rain. The Chinese conglomerate Fosun is the favorite to acquire uh, the Bermudian property cat specialist Montpelier Re. This is following an auction. Sources have said there's an expectation that Fosun probably operating through its reinsurance subsidiary Peak Re based in Hong Kong is going to win the four-month bidding process. Uh, Brian Dupro's Hamilton Insurance Group is still believed to be in the running. Uh, both Fosen and uh, Hamilton are offering all-cash bids. Um, Endurance and Aspen, both very fierce rivals with each other, uh, are believed to have been uh, participants in these latter stages, but their bids apparently are also combination cash and stock. The ex-QBE Group CEO Frank O'Halloran and former QBE underwriter Ash Bathea are in line to secure approval for a Lloyd startup beginning July 1. Um, they managed to secure third-party managing services with uh, Capita, and Aon Benfield Security is advising on the capital raise. The group's going to have uh, backing from a Latin American carrier in terms of a capital investment. Apparently, the uh, application process is well underway and the franchise board is going to be uh, considering the uh, quite uh, imminently in the future with a uh, idea to secure an in-principle approval that will pave the way for a mid-year start.
Well, there's news today coming out of Florida that the uh, state Florida Hurricane Catastrophe Fund is looking to purchase some $2.2 billion in reinsurance from the uh, traditional private reinsurance market. And that, of course, has uh, reawakened the uh, uh, invectives coming from the State House in Tallahassee. Florida politicians launched an attack on uh, Bermuda reinsurers where most of the coverage would be bought. Um, this has happened before. Representative Frank R. Tiles said moves to transfer the risk from the state-run Florida CAT Fund should be blocked by the state cabinet. Uh, he called it corporate welfare. He said if the CAT Fund Chief Operating Officer Jack Nicholson is permitted to gift $2 billion into the private reinsurance market, the only beneficiaries would be the reinsurers themselves, mostly based in Bermuda. Quote, these are people who actually hope for catastrophes so that they can demand higher rates and larger profits. Well, again, we always say about this, the uh, rule of thumb that should be used here is what happens if there are significant wind events in Florida. If there are and you don't have reinsurance, the citizens of the state of Florida are going to have to pay and not the reinsurance companies. We'll keep an eye on the uh, crash in uh, southern France, see if there's any uh, determination made for the cause. Uh, but if not, we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.